Felipe De Castro across the board. Both six feet tall, both weighing in just north of two six. As we are set to go with our next matchup tonight, three rounds this scheduled in the UFC. You're standing six feet even, weighing in officially 263 pounds. Yeah, de Santana Barria Brasil. Here is Carlos. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red. 81 pounds. His professional record stands at six victories. And where is Jorgen, the mad titan? Action is Kevin Sataki. Kevin Sataki was Felipe ready to go. Did not shake hands. I'm going to enjoy this one. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by <laughs> Modelo. Gloves, didn't get it. Jorgen DeCastro is a big favorite in this one. Minus 230. Shin, uh, ready to block that kick with his shin here. The end came due to heavy leg kicks. Goes inside. Push to Castro up against the fence. One shot. What's nice about this fight? For so both of them are sick of getting it. clinched. Yeah. <laughs> this coach's cam is brought to you by proper. In on the feints, you again. Head off the center line. He's biting on the feints. Yep. Good. Off the cage. Yep. Then take the leg. In stereo on the other side. <laughs> they sound like the minions. <laughs> Two minutes into this one, we're thinking the same thing there. It's nice to see Felipe throwing some key his opponent. I mean, you got legs like that, you might as well use Might as well throw him, right? I kick. Earlier this week, they're a lot of fun to watch. I mean, yeah. he's, he's a wild man. He comes here for a, a learning curve for him, you know? Yeah, he never just he declared that he wants to erase that and go out and be more aggressive. Even if that fake check is just to get in the head, it's... Got a, a swelling on the front of the thigh. Definitely some marking on that, uh, that lead quad. You see that lump? Can you see yeah, the lump? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Felipe. Two from Felipe, who has tested that chin of Jorgen Castro through the first... It's like a special rule set, isn't it? Like a handicap. You can only use kicks from Felipe. They agreed upon it before the match. Yeah, right. Felipe Ooh. does the advancing, but each finding a hole for some of these strikes. He's trying to and walk him down, that brings it out of Jorgen. And that jab is looking really sharp here tonight. And of Felipe's landed a few times already. Maybe not quite as in under Castro's mind that he's taking these shots. In back. Okay, look at me. Breathe. You're dropping your left hand. He's baiting you for an overhand right. Okay. I want to see more low kicks. Let's go to the calf Big to breath. avoid the check. Whenever you pressure, be careful with his kicks. UFC Fight Night is presented upon the black Carlos Felipe in the gray. Picking up right with here yeah. as he now moves forward towards the combination. And that's important for him to do, especially his punch too. I'm not just going to hear, I'm not here to just kick oh, him. Him. That, well, that was the observation from the DeCastro corner that he's working the body. Fight here is DeCastro wants to lock him up. Well, we're going to see a takedown here from DeCastro. It looks like he's fixing. He slow oh. this thing down, especially if he can get on top right at heavyweight. Oh, that was okay. Oh, trading right in the center. Oh, oh. Busy down below and now trying to mix it up going up top. Felipe looking for that lead elbow. The rising elbow is the Castro's moving forward. Oh, and the Castro body work again. Keeping the guard high and Felipe goes to the body again. I do love that he's ripping to the body. Oh man, these boys are swinging. It's to go around two if they keep landing like this. Just a matter of time before one. I feel like for these guys, this is almost just like a boxing star. Get the opportunity, I'd like to get this to the ground. It's about grabbing the fence and yeah. feeling like that was unfair. Open-handed slap from Felipe. Fighter with an attitude. Nice job. Much better performance here from Felipe. Kicks, going to the body, big punches upstairs. Just starting to wear on De Castro a bit. The other benefit in being like, he's able to get more shots in the same. 
and Felipe. so is DeCastro. Need for power, whereas Felipe is much more the pepper-in fighter. How discouraging must that be? I've had nightmares like this. One minute left here in this round. Let's see who's gonna foot quite a bit here. Oh, good body kick there. Trying to get busy there as he punches his way in. So he does a smart hey, thing. Don't grab, don't grab the cage. Stop, stop. I'll like that, grabbing though, that because fence. he's grabbing the right. fence. Like, hey, listen, you lose that position. If you... Felipe. Coming. Round number three. Come. Don't show it. It counts for the judges. This is your life. You have to win this. You can't leave here saying you could have done more. That's why you got attacked. Both of you, okay? Finding the characteristics Next up on pay per view is UFC lightweight stud. Fearless and relentless striker Justin Gaethje. UFC 254 on ESPN Plus. Each of these guys landed a hook. Oh, rest. Oh. Yeah, let's go, boys. De Castro with the card high. He's gonna watch. You know the ref's gonna really be careful. Felipe just blitz. Just they, they, once they get into that clinch, they are doing yeah. nothing. They're yeah, resting right. when, when they're not in that clinch. So right. Keep breaking them up for me. Yeah. They're yeah. trying yeah. to lock the hands around. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't try that. He's starting to slow down now. We're starting to see some fatigue from De Castro. But in that second round, but he came out in the third round. He really, in his corner, said that don't show him. Impression from Felipe that he's one of those kind of guys that he just kind of cruises throwing his combinations. The rest of the time, he's very relaxed. Minutes to go, went right back in. Felipe ahead on the significant and total strike. Castro keeping break, 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 not break, enough, break, not enough power fight. behind those shots. Giving him a you gonna let go. He hasn't done nothing. Break, 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 break. Carlos Felipe on, bleeding. It. There, I mean, it's on Felipe to move, right? Yeah, he say, let's fight, but you can circle out. I'd be careful if I was that cameraman. Yeah, um, Felipe is trying to fire a shot. Let's go, fight! Oh my gosh. And now it's not enough to wobble to Castro. I'm going to say it right now. Team break, team break, back up. Kevin Sataki earning his paycheck in there for this. And this time he doesn't blitz forward. There's 45 seconds left. These guys have enough power to yeah, end I mean, things still Felipe here. Felipe is still trying to land shots while he's pushing forward like this. He, he's got nothing in there. De Castro to 98 for Felipe. Crazy, it's right? Way up for Felipe. Yeah, on, for Felipe to 57. Get me here. Let's throw one more. That'll be it. We'll get the official decision when we come back. Tonight, coming up next with Kenny Mayne and John Anderson. Reaction from here on the SEC Showdown. Number seven, Auburn took on fourth-ranked Georgia Sporters. Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go 27 and 29, 28. All for your winner by unanimous. Conversation, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I love to do this. I fight heavy for me. I mean, this. Love me or hate me. Why do you love I have some violence inside me. And I put it inside with the You got no marks on your face, you look fresh. Yeah, there was a guy in Brazil. So, Come on, man. Don't be a. I was. Have a reason. Don't run away from me. Let's fight. Put me to fight this year. I pray. I'm ready. From something night. I think I do. I agree. I thoroughly enjoyed that fight, my friend. Lack confidence, and he cashes as a plus 190 underdog tonight. One of a kind sports venue, and history was certainly made.